Hey YouTube, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at external GPUs. So I have with me here the Sparkle external GPU. They call this the Studio G750. 750. 750 indicates the actual power supply that's included, so it does come with a 750 watt power supply. Your computer, whether it's a laptop or desktop, needs to have USB 4 ports on it or Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 ports. This actually uses Thunderbolt 3, so that means it'll work totally fine with USB 4 because Thunderbolt 3 and USB 4 are identical, as well as USB 4 being backwards compatible. So Thunderbolt 5 will also work with this, but keep in mind that this will limit the GPU bandwidth to PCIe 3.0 x4 because this is using the older Thunderbolt 3 standard. Just to show the specifications on the box here, so it is the Studio G750. You can see the chassis dimensions as well as the max graphics cards dimensions. I like that it has this info on the box. It allows for up to 500 watts, and that is because the power supply includes three 8-pin standard PCIe connectors. So you can run a graphics card that requires up to three 8-pins as the maximum. It works with Windows 10 and above, or Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.4 and above. Supports full duplex control. This also includes a RJ45 Ethernet port. So like I said, you can use this as a docking station. It is essentially a very large Thunderbolt 3 docking station with a PCIe 3.0 X4 interface for an external graphics card. So inside the box, the first thing in here is a smaller box that includes a power cable. This is AC power cable. It is the three prong variant, so this is adequate. This is typically used for monitors, but the wire gauge on this, I can tell, is not as good as the ones in a power supply. But because this only will power the graphics card, essentially, we don't need to worry about that. That's sufficient. And then it does have a Thunderbolt 3 cable. Do note, this is not your regular USB-C cable, even though it looks like one. It is a Thunderbolt cable. You have to have a Thunderbolt-capable device in order for this to work properly. It includes this quick installation guide, the technical specs right here. So it shows, you know, the wire connection. So that's actually pretty, pretty in-depth. How to install, how to open it up, how to install the graphics card. So it's pretty large, as you can see. It comes well packaged. Okay, the initial impressions are it's pretty solid old metal body. The front has a plastic shroud here with the Sparkle logo on it. Has some vents there. I wish it had more. Here is the what looks to be the side intake for the GPU. And I can see the power supply with its fan mounted back here on this side. On the back, you can see the power supply, Ethernet, Thunderbolt, and then dual USB Type A ports, and it can house up to a three finger wide graphics card. Okay, so there's, so there's one screw in the back, and then the big button looking thing on the front is actually another screw. So once you take those out, this lifts up. So you can see the inside here. So it looks like it has a basic looking motherboard with the 24 pin. This door is magnetic. It just opens up like that. And now we can install the graphics card. You can see it has the standard clip for PCIe. It is physically X16, but it's only going to use four lanes because Thunderbolt 3 tops out at PCIe Gen 3 X4. That's going to be the maximum uplink from the computer. And then it has the cables that we will need. You can see... Yep, there are three 8 pins. Three 6 plus 2s. So the total wattage can be up to 450 watt graphics cards are supported. And then we have a SATA power as well as a Molex. I haven't seen that in a while. Okay, I've installed a Radeon graphics card in here. So this is a 6800 XT 
reference card, so it only requires two 8 pins. Uh, one thing I also noticed, so there is actually a rear exhaust fan. I believe this is an exhaust fan. Yeah, that's an exhaust fan back there, so that's pretty interesting. And then the power supply, the power supply pulls in air from here. The intake for the fan on the power supply is there, and the exhaust will be like your standard ATX power supply, so that's how that works. But it's pretty easy to install. You guys can see up to three fingers. It comes with all the included screws and brackets, and then the power cables. So now we're going to go ahead and get a laptop hooked up to this with USB 4. We're going to be testing a ThinkPad P15 V Gen 3, which I've featured previously. We'll also look at a newer Strix Point based ThinkPad, a T14S, and see how that works with this as well as an actual desktop featuring an ASRock X870E Nova with a 9800X3D. So let's go ahead and test all three of those to verify that this works. Okay, so everything is plug and play. All I did was connect all the cables. You guys can see the Radeon logo in there. The GPU is powered up and the fans are not spinning because it is idling as normal but the power supply does have the fan spinning and you can see these are the connections so I've got the Thunderbolt 3 cable going to the laptop and it's charging the laptop the laptop is sending its signal Thunderbolt signal USB 4 signal in here so it detects this automatically I didn't have to install any drivers nothing it was plug and play and now we have discrete display port out from the GPU to this 4K monitor here, this Dell 27 inch 4K monitor. And you guys can see there is the, I'm moving the mouse and controlling it from the touchpad. And we have an external display via the Radeon graphics card. So we go here, you guys can see, we have, so you can see in there, we have the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT. These are the drivers that are automatically there because these are the ones that are actually installed on the laptop. And then we have the integrated graphics as well. So the integrated graphics is driving the laptop display and the Radeon GPU is driving the external 4K monitor. If I wanted to plug in a keyboard, so here I have plugged in a keyboard. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard with a touchpad. And you can see the touchpad on this external IBM keyboard works totally fine, but if I want an external mouse, I could do that as well. And then I have access to the keyboard as well because I just plugged a standard USB-A via this keyboard. So I've got basically the use of a Thunderbolt 4 or Thunderbolt 3 docking station with the ability to include an a full discrete graphics card. So this is perfect for those who want to use their laptop at home or their home office as a mobile desktop replacement. Okay, so for the second laptop, I've plugged in the ThinkPad P15 V Gen 3. This laptop actually features an integrated discrete card. It actually has the NVIDIA RTX A2000 laptop in here as well as the integrated Radeon 680M. But in Device Manager, we have a Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. So let's see if it's actually going to install it. I've plugged it in. Now it's showing Radeon 6800 XT. And oh, what's this down here? So it looks like, it looks like Windows is trying to install it because I haven't tried to install anything yet. All I did was plug the cable in. And it looks like we are in business. It looks like it went ahead and duplicated the display. And sure enough, there we have it. I just had to give it a minute or two for it to install automatically from Windows 11. But now we have the Radeon 6800 XT and Task Manager also shows it. So now this laptop, not only does this laptop have the integrated Radeon 680M that's powering this display. It has the discrete NVIDIA Professional RTX A2000 inside the laptop, but we also now have an external desktop 
Radeon RX 6800 XT from the docking station. So now this laptop has three graphics devices installed. Now, one thing is this laptop does not charge over USB 4 because this laptop is a higher end laptop with a discrete Nvidia card so it needs it's more like a gaming laptop this is like a professional business version of a of a gaming laptop that's the easiest way I can describe it so this one you need you need to plug in your actual AC power adapter for that to work but other than that everything functions identical to the first laptop that we looked at the ultrabook so this one you guys can see up here on the external monitor, this is the 4K monitor, we've got the CPU, or the APU, we've got the dock, we have LAN internet, we have wired internet for this laptop, and we have an external keyboard and an external mouse that works totally fine. So this gives you guys an idea of the flexibility that a docking station with an external GPU enclosure allows you to do. So let's look at one more use case. Okay, so for the last example here, I've actually taken the Thunderbolt dock and I've plugged it into an X870E ASRock Nova Phantom Gaming desktop gaming computer with a 9800X3D. And you can see the Thunderbolt cable goes right into one of those two USB 4 cables on the motherboard and we now have dual internet LAN because I have internet LAN on the motherboard. We have internet LAN on the Thunderbolt dock. So we actually have dual network interfaces now. In addition to the Wi-Fi 7 off of the motherboard. So we got lots of connectivity there. And I did notice that it does have a nice little blue LED that lights up when it's in use. We can see the Radeon GPU logo in there. And... I've got the keyboard that connects to the desktop motherboard, but I also have the other keyboard that connects to the dock. So I actually have like two keyboards and this mouse and this mouse all controlling the same single desktop computer. We have triple monitors now. So this monitor is the one that we've been showing in the previous example. So this is the 4K 27 inch Dell monitor that's plugged into the Radeon graphics card and then I have these other two monitors that were previously plugged directly into the RTX 4080 Super in the actual desktop computer. So we've got multiple monitors across multiple graphics cards and you guys can see in here in the device manager sure enough we have triple graphics components. We have the external graphics card 6800 XT the integrated Radeon graphics on the Ryzen 9800X3D and the GeForce RTX 40 Super, which was already inside the desktop connected to the ASRock Nova. So we've got all of that. So it does work with desktop, provided you have USB 4 connectivity on your motherboard, or you have to have a Thunderbolt or USB 4 add-in card in one of those PCIe X4 slots, which we've done a previous video on very recently, Check out that Thunderbolt 5 video that we looked at for more info on that. So that shows you guys kind of what sort of expandability you can get when you have an external Thunderbolt based docking station. Okay, and then one final test. I went back to the ThinkPad P15V. This is the one that has the integrated NVIDIA professional card, but we are not actually using that. So we are using the Radeon 6800 XT in the external enclosure. You can see right here, I fired up Elden Ring Night Rain on the 4K monitor. So I am playing this game at full 4K. Now this game doesn't go above 60 FPS, but just to show you guys, we are playing this game at native 4K resolution, everything maxed out. And the 6800 XT is more than enough to handle this game at 4K resolution. You guys can see up in the top left corner there, the game caps to 60 no matter what. And in the task manager, the 6800 XT is rendering the game. The integrated graphics is barely doing anything. And then we have the NVIDIA card inside the laptop doing absolutely nothing. 
So the game is pretty intense for a laptop processor though, but this Zen 3 Plus based Ryzen 6800H is quite capable of playing this game. So just to kind of show, I also am using an Xbox 360 controller, just the wired controller, plugged into one of the USB ports at the back of the docking station there, as well as I do have a mouse plugged in as well now, so I can use the mouse uh, in addition to the keyboard on the laptop. So that kind of shows you guys the full final picture of what you can do with a Thunderbolt based docking station that features an external graphics card enclosure. Hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. I imagine there will be questions of people asking if this works with certain motherboards. Like I said in the beginning, if your motherboard has USB 4 and it's a desktop or laptop, it will work with this docking station. So once again, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.